Hi, I'm Tom Lowers. I designed the Hummingbird hardware, and I'm now involved in commercializing Hummingbird through my company, Bird Brain Technologies. And today, what I'm going to be talking about is what's in the box. So this plain brown box holds the contents of a full Hummingbird kit. And let me show you as you open it up. The first thing that I'm going to pull out here is the Hummingbird controller, which is in its own little anti-static bag. So here's the controller. It has four regular LED ports, two tricolor LED ports, a USB connector, a status LED, two vibration motor connectors, four sensor connectors, uh, two motor uh, connectors, four servo connectors or ports, and then also uh, a jack for power for motor and servo power. Uh, and if you flip it over, you actually see the circuitry that controls all of that. So let me put that down, and then I'll talk about all of the things you can connect to it. Um, you have your regular USB cable, which just, it's a six foot USB mini B to USB A cable connector, and it connects the Hummingbird to the computer. Um, this is the power adapter. Now Hummingbird is actually powered over USB, but this is supplementary power in case you want to run DC motors or servos. And then there are three small boxes within the large box. The first is the LED and vibration motors box. It's labeled with how many LEDs, tricolor LEDs and vibration motors are in this box. And as you open it up, you can see that it's a kind of a neatly arranged mess of wires. So let me pull it all out and then show you each part individually. So this is a regular single color LED. Uh, to figure out what color it is, you actually look at the non-black wire. So green wire means this is a green LED. There's eight of these. The colors are green, yellow, orange, and red. There's also two tricolor LEDs. A tricolor LED actually contains um, red, green, and blue color elements within the LED. You can see there are red, green, and blue wires, as well as a black wire. Uh, and that allows this LED to basically be programmed to be any color in the rainbow. And then there are vibration motors. Vibration motors are good. These, these are basically the same kinds of motors that are in cell phones, and they're good for maybe um, making some jingle bells go or uh, vibrating a piece of cardboard. Next up is the sensors kit. Uh, we have light, sound, temperature, and distance sensors as well as a rotary knob. So let me show you those. The sound sensor allows the hummingbird to react to loud sounds and it's in this little anti-static bag. And so you can take it out, take a look at it. It's just a standard microphone with some circuitry. Circuitry is on the back. The distance sensor will tell you how far away an object is from it in sort of a straight line. Uh, and the range is roughly 10 centimeters to 80 centimeters. The light sensor uh, just tells you roughly how bright or dim uh, a room is. And it's kind of the same sensor that you would find in outdoor lights that turn on at night. Temperature sensor tells you how warm or cold the room is. It reports that back in Celsius. You can also put things on it. And after a few seconds, it'll tell you how hot that thing is. And finally, we have the rotary knob, and there's a cap for it as well. So you can put the cap on if you want a nicer cap. The last box is the motors kit. So in here are two DC motors and four servos, and as well as four servo extension cables. So that's the first thing you come across is these extension wires. Um, the DC motors are right here. They have wires soldered onto them. And they're just good if you need some continuous rotary motion. And then there are also four servos. Servos are good if you need to um, have, for example, an arm that moves to a certain position. The servo can be told to move to any position roughly 180 degrees. The Hummingbird controller in your program can tell uh, the servo to rotate to 
you know, 50 degrees or 80 degrees. Um, this is the servo horn, this white plastic piece. And inside the box are actually several other horns. So this red plus sign or the smaller white plus sign. Surprise, there's still one other thing in the kit. This small flathead screwdriver. I push down with my screwdriver on the tab. I push the wire in at about a 45 degree angle, release the tab. You can sort of gently pull on it to make sure that you've made a good connection. And to recap, here's all the parts laid out. The Hummingbird controller, USB cable, power supply, uh, LEDs, tricolor LEDs and vibration motors, distance sensor, sound sensor, light sensor, knob, temperature sensor, four servos, servo extension cables, two DC motors, and a screwdriver.